Hey guys, what is up? It's AJ from Brock the Stable here. Currently, it is 5 in the morning, and boy, do we have a video on tap for you. Got the USA World Cup shirt on from 94. But today, we are going to Boston, and we're going to see what day we can get with only spending $100 in Boston. This does not include travel, this does not include gas, this does not include tolls. The second we get into the city of Boston, we can only spend $100 on activities, food, souvenirs if I get anything. So let's see what we can do for $100 on the entire day to have the best tourist day in Boston. We are currently in Boston now. I'm not eating. Um, I'm not really hungry right now. I'm gonna wait for the Red Sox game later that I'm going to. But I know I can give the best rundown in the morning about what I'm gonna do. With some friends here, with the $100, I need to go to the Red Sox game, do one more, you know, like tourist thing, like a museum or a city view, something of that sense. And I have to go get something to eat at the Quincy Market. So that's kind of my rundown with $100. Shouldn't be too difficult, shouldn't be the craziest thing in the world, but I want to see what's the best experience we can get in Boston for $100. Alright, walking around Boston now, looking for tickets for the Red Sox games online, they're like 50 for a single seat, cheapest seat. It's gonna kill the budget, we might honestly have to go over the $100 mark. And I'd be kind of sad, so I think it might end up being 120 or 150, but we'll see. I'm not too sure at this exact second what it's gonna be. I'm gonna try to keep it at $100. It's gonna be very tough, including food. So maybe we take the food part out. We'll see how we're gonna bullshit this when we are in the process of doing it. My first plan of action is going to be going to Fenway Park and going on the will call or the box office seeing if they have any college student discounts they do have a program for a nine dollar ticket so i'm gonna see if i can get one there hopefully if they, i don't get a text for it so we'll see for the meantime though i'm gonna just walk around we're going to the quincy marketplace and another marketplace i think we're going to a farmer's market so i'll get you guys footage of that and anything else cool we see along the way let's go and look what we found here I'm really two minutes away from the TD Garden, so walk by you a little montage of that. That is really sick. That is the infamous uh, Boston meme spot that I will play the following clip now. I'm so surprised they haven't changed. Right in front of Boston City Hall. <laughs> it is finally time to spend some money at the Quincy Market and get a local Boston cuisine. We can get anything from clam chowder, lobster roll, or anything else that kind of feels Boston-y. But I found this oyster bar and I think the right move was getting a, not a small cup, but a regular sized cup of the clam chowder. It was 1086, so take that off of the budget. We are here, we arrived in Fenway Park. Got my ticket. Not happy with the price I paid, but we got it. I spent 50, I believe. I'll put the total on the screen. I think we're at 65 now after that and the clam chowder. But let's enjoy a good game of baseball because I don't think we're going to hit this $100 budget. <laughs>
budget's gone. Got a water bottle outside for five dollars. Forgot to tell you guys about. So I think we're at seventy. So we have thirty dollars left. Technically, we're definitely gonna go over a hundred. We did get the cuisine. We did get the clam chowder. We are at a Red Sox game. Probably gonna eat here. Just probably should. We'll do that. And yeah. Maybe we'll do one of the museums in the city view. Go from there. It's gonna be over hundred dollars. I was really hoping to get a nine dollar ticket. Did not happen. That kind of ruined a lot of it, but it is absolutely ridiculous the seats I had for this game. I mean, look at obviously you have a great view of the Green Monster, one of the most famous sites in all the sports and definitely baseball. But I was literally five or six rows off the field. There's a Detroit Tigers starting pitcher Casey Mize. Like, what the hell? 50 bucks for these seats? I understand baseball isn't, like, the most expensive sport when it comes to tickets and all that, but insane. $15, very excited, looks incredible. Corned beef, cheese, so proud. Next up at Fenway is one of their finest traditions in Sweet Caroline. The Red Sox ended up losing 8-4 to four to the Detroit Tigers, losing in, I think, the 10th inning. They had a pretty good chance to win the 9th, but they did not. Speaking of not being able to succeed, let's see how I will manage the last $16 of our budget, and surely I won't go over, right? So this ran us $15 each. I got one blue slushy orange creamsicle, two caramel apples. Colin, what are you cooking with? We got caramel apples, peach mango, black berry. And passion. Ben, what are you cooking with? Um, I said Ben. What is this? Uh, lemon ice, Italian ice. Yeah. Bang. 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 Uh, uh, Mountain Dew. <laughs> Baby Boo Slushy. What is this? Hey, yeah. Oh, I love my Friday. Um, all right. With a dollar eighty left on the budget, we were screwed. The Red Sox game did us in. We could not do anything major, no city view, no museums, but we did find something that was relatively cheap and technically a tourist attraction. Underground. This is how it is. You've seen here, right? Two times. 
Don't tell me they have this on the replay. <laughs> That's perfect. Alright, so I'm back from Boston. Obviously, we went over the budget. I'm going to give you a bit of a breakdown why and why we didn't do anything else. Not, I would have done it either way even if we went over the budget. But my friends got tired. Some of them were feeling a little sick. So we figured we'd go home rather than spending more money when everyone wasn't feeling well. I did really want to do the city view, but that's fine. I think I'm, I'm going to go back to Boston at some point. So I can always do it then. It's not moving anywhere. It's not going to run away. So not that big of a deal. I wish I did get to do a little bit more. Wish I could have vlogged a little bit more. The Cheers Bar was fun. I don't really want to count that as a historical site or a, you know, tourist thing. But it is a tourist thing, to be fair. So I think for the sake of the video that I already screwed up enough, we're, we're going to count it. We'll count it. My entire plan, obviously, was getting the $9 Red Sox tickets. Maybe, maybe, well, looking at it now, I should have. Went to the box office. I tried calling them, seeing if they'd give it to me. Um... I, I just got a little bit scared because ticket prices kept going up and up as the minutes were going by. It was like half hour till first pitch or 45 minutes till first pitch, let's say. And I'm like, it's either I'm going to have to spend a lot of money or I can get the seats I had. Which were great seats. Awesome seats. I love those seats. Great time. So I could sit there or I could risk it, ask for $9 tickets and really complete the challenge. But yeah, so we did that, spent that. Unfortunately, we did go end up going over. If I could have got it for nine dollars, I could have had such a great video, a legit video, and this still is a legit video. But we failed. We would, we could have won. We could have did that, done the city view, still had the drink of cheers, the uh, bar. What's it called? Down east or whatever. I'll put the name there. The cider place we went to was really cool. I wasn't expecting to do that, so that was a bonus. That also took away from the budget, obviously. It is what it is. We got we had the clam chowder. We did the Red Sox game. Did the Cheers Bar. Did the Cider Bar. It was a great day. Awesome day. I loved it. I want to try this challenge again. I want to complete it. So maybe DC. DC is a little bit easier, obviously, because all the museums are free. So is that maybe Canada? I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. I know people will be mad that I went over budget and I didn't stick to the budget. It is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I had a great time. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.